Hi, this is Joe Hoskin. I'm here with uh, SVG Europe. This morning I'm with Mo Goyle, the Senior Director, International Business Development for Everts. We're going to be talking about Dreamcatcher VAR. Mo, how do you think the use of the video assistant referee went during the World Cup last year? What were the big issues for you? Um, I think the World Cup, uh, the use of our system at the World Cup was actually a considerable success. Uh, it was kind of the introduction of that technology in a large-scale event um, for FIFA. So having it at the World Cup was a, a sort of a big uh, exercise. I think there's still some growing pains. Uh, when you start to use technology in various sports, whether it's uh, football or basketball and some of these uh, baseball, it, it's a communication. There's parts of it. There's going to be the communication and there's also going to be what the audience expects the technology to do. And with Video Assistant Referee, it's really meant to be a tool to help you know, uh, identify and then speed up decisions, make sure we're, we're getting the correct decisions. Mm -hmm. However, I think from the audience perspective, they're actually looking at technology and thinking that it's going to give the absolute, right? And I think that's part of the exercise that the challenge is coming up is how do I communicate the fact that this is just a tool that's being used by humans to help us be a little bit more accurate, a little bit quickly mm -hmm. with the results, but isn't going to, you know, really be the absolute final. We still have a human factor there. And, and from your experience, what are the technical challenges that you're currently facing in, in implementing the system? Um, the big challenges are, you know, I think two things. Uh, one is to make sure the tool is fast, accurate, uh, and reliable. And being able to give the information to the referees or the officials in a timely manner such that they're not interrupting the flow of the game. Um, you know, with, with something like football, the flow of the game is there. So any kind of interruption takes away from that. And, and when you are using video assisted referee, you want to make sure that the decision is done quickly and move on. So I think that's the biggest technology. And where is Everts taking VAR in the future? Um, we've been developing it for at least about five years now. Um, the technology has been used in a number of different leagues. Uh, National Basketball Association, NBA is one of our bigger users, mm -hmm. Major League Baseball, uh, and a number of football leagues in around the world. Um, we see this as a leverage in our existing technology. Uh, coming from a broadcast space, we have that knowledge and that, that experience of having uh, technology that goes into live events, so 24-hour, really reliable technology. The basis of our Dreamcatcher VAR is on our production tool called Dreamcatcher, so we're using that in the sports replay environment, uh, taking that information and be able to now apply it to this type of application. So we see it continue growth. The other big factor for us is to make it very easy to use. And that's key because it's going to be the referees. As our objective is to have the referees or the officials drive this without specialized operators. So where do you think we might be in, say, three to five years' time with this particular application? I, I think you're going to see a great deal of growth in it. I think you're going to see in a lot of different uh, sports, not just uh, the major ones. I think a lot of different... Um, as m social media becomes very prevalent and you have more eyes watching sports, uh, I think the leagues themselves are going to be looked at way, are looking at ways to continue uh, to promote the integrity of the, mat, the, the leagues themselves and the, and the sort of sports. And this kind of technology helps with that. And I think you're going to see it in a lot of sports, not just your major ones, but also some of your other ones that are not necessarily uh, big, but you know, still want to have that transparency that they offer to their uh, audience. And I understand that you're doing some work with the Jupiler Pro League in Belgium. Yep. Could you tell us a little bit about that, please? Yeah. So we've, uh, we were awarded a six-year contract with uh, Jupiler Pro League in Belgium uh, with our partner, Studio Tech. And essentially, we're offering the VAR services for the league. And essentially, it's uh, six years, as I said, every match. And we're providing the technology that allows their referees to operate and run VAR for their various matches. Okay. Mo, thank you very much for your thank time you. today. Thank you. All right. Thank you.